Well, for me, it was a it was a quite sort of linear route in a way into I mean a long but linear route into the film industry. I studied it at college. I, 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 in, in my spare time, I was an usher in a cinema in, in London. There was a rep cinema called the Everyman that gave us an opportunity to go into all the other rep cinemas in London. So we were you know, seeing as many films as we could and educating ourselves about the films that were there. So I was enthusiastic about, about cinema in general. And, that, and I, th I, part, I think that was a really big part of the education. I tried to um, work in the industry as a runner to begin with, um, and then as an AD, which I wasn't very good at. I realised that that wasn't going to be the, <coughs> the thing for me because it was too much organisation and I'm not a very good organiser type. And so and I, I started doing short, short films and... Uh, at the time, there were quite a few, I mean, a variety of different schemes available um, to do short films. The first one we did was called First Reels, which was a, it was like two grand, not many parameters. To, uh, you, know, you, you had the money and you, know, uh, and, and you saw what you came up with. And I made a little film noir called Dirty Diamonds and uh, it, it, was, it worked well, it was, it, it was received well. And then, and then it was like a, f a long time in the way to kind of climbing up a ladder doing, short, I, mean, I think I made nine short films. I, I was keen on, on, a, on a, a novel called Young Adam, um, which I, I found a way of trying to get the, the rights for, and um, eventually was able to make that. It turned out to be the second feature film, but just keeping that kind of the idea of a longer project along the way while at the same time um, developing the skills and, and, and taking opportunities doing, doing other stuff like that, and, and then occasionally doing bits of corporate video and, and, and doing whatever I could to kind of earn, earn a bit of, bit of money in the meantime. But it was just like it was a, it was a sort of there was a, the, that at the time anyway there was a sort of way of stepping up the ladder. I don't know whether that really exists now, and I think that there are schemes. I know that our company does a few, but I don't know whether the the kind of the, the sort of straight path is is available to to young filmmakers now. But of course now you can make a film on your mobile phone, so you you know you you, you can kind of bypass some of these things, and that's what I would encourage young filmmakers to do is just to to make them with whatever resources they have and to, and to, and to you know, join together their friends who want to be actors and friends who want to be producers and, 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 and sort of develop the, the thing together and grow up together. Well, we had a very strange experience with our first feature film, uh, Last Quick Wilderness, that, that we'd written the script, it had taken a long time, it had gone through several sort of evolutionary things, um, uh, but we finally found the finance to, to, to make it um, and we're ready to shoot. And two days before we started to shoot, um, the UK was shut down with foot and mouth disease, and all our all, all, all of our shooting was was essentially in the Highlands of Scotland. So we were just cut out. We had we had one series of scenes that we, we were interiors that were in a in, in a house, and so we we we, we had to you know, frantically kind of re, re rework our plan and shoot that out, and eventually persuade two people who were prepared to take the risk of us you know wiping our feet and and, and go into the land. And we did. We eventually made the film, but we were all of our location hunting, all of the plans that we made, we had to completely abandon. And so we were just, you know, turning up at a place we'd never seen before, and, and I had to, as a director, try and work out how to shoot the scene, which was a, it was a terrifying experience, but also a really good one, because it just made you kind of, I had to think on my feet, I had no choice, and so, so I just had to deal with it. And, and, and as a lesson, you, you, you asked, you know, what did I learn from it? As a lesson, you know, to, to be able to have a plan, but then be flexible, and to ride with the opportunities of uh, of what you get, and to be open, and not and not fully sort of locked into a, into a preconceived idea, and, and explore the material is something that I, that I still do now. In fact, I do. I mean, I'm, I'm sort of that's one of the things that I find really important as a director. So, sort of that accident, you know, gave gave me the kind of I guess the courage to not need to totally plan things in advance. And I made a movie. Uh, uh, in, in the United States, uh, Hello High Water, and, and we only had about six weeks prep, and it was uh, it was set in Texas. I'd not from Texas. I didn't know anything about Texas really. I'd been I'd spent about five years ago before I'd spent um, uh, two weeks there with a friend, so that was, I just had that memory in there. But so that that was about sort of arriving in the middle of this place and uh, absorbing as much information as possible and trying and asking questions and just and just like being very very kind of open to everything, and that's. That was a that was a great experience having that kind of quick time frame to just absorb. For example, the film that we've just done, Outlaw King, the story of Robert the Bruce. I've I, you know I've known this story all my life, and, and and we've been working on the script for about seven or eight years, and 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 reading the history and going to the places and and you know talking to historians and and delving beneath the the, the obvious and looking and you know just just you know looking wherever we can to, to, to try and find you know, the information that to, to, make, to make it happen. So that absorption is a longer, longer process. So 
it's it, it's a sort of it, whatever it takes is 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 sort of the feeling. But but obviously you want to try and 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 get as close as you can to to the material. We did a movie start up. Jonathan Asser, the writer, had spent a lot of time in, in prisons working as a, as a therapist, and, and so I, I really had to focus through him to, to get as much detail as I, as I could. I, I, I didn't have the, that experience, so, so you know, surrounding ourselves with, with the people who, who can really help make it come alive, make it feel real, was, is a really important part of it too. I love working with actors. I love, I love what actors bring to it. I think that when you, when you take a piece of paper which is a script. It's got it's got the ingredients. It's got the you know the the, the characters roughly what they say, roughly what they do, um, you know the props, you know the situation, and 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 that's you, you come to the table with that, and you might have rehearsed it before, you might not have done, but but on the day when the cameras are running, you're exploring that material properly for the first time, and so it's it, it's a it's a voyage of discovery, and I and I I, I'm, I love a sort of open voyage with, with 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 my actors. I love giving actors a lot of freedom to try and explore stuff, and and. You know, for me as a director, it's like that's working. That's not so good. You know what I mean? It's like just, just like let, let's keep, let's keep exploring it. And so actors are, 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 are you know, smart people who like to know their characters and 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 uh, you know, get get it, you know, creatively involved and things. But 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 the most important thing I think is actors like to play, and I think that's what, in a way, that's what kind of makes them who they are is that they like to play. So trying to encourage that play is uh, is a really important part for me. I never tend to look upon scripts as a sort of sacred thing, and I've never had to, you know, follow the letter of the words uh, 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 of a script. So, as I say, it is a really about you know those ingredients, and you and, and and you take those ingredients and and you use them, and you respect those ingredients, but also you see where you can fire from them, and where, how you can build from them, and 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 take it from something that that that's, that, that's all, you know a great piece of writing on the page into something that's that's a you know a, you know hopefully a great movie. And I think I think if in a way, if a, if, a, if a director creates the you know the facsimile of the script, no matter how good the script is, you know they, they haven't really done their job. I think the, you know the, the the idea of a director is to elevate the, a great script and make it even better. You know what I mean? And 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 to take advantage of of all the things that that are on offer and to and to see things that that that, that weren't were underexplored in the script and to you know and and so it, so it's. It's it's a beautiful roadmap of, uh, of of where to go and and and, and I love great writing and, and and that's good to 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 have as a starting point but it's, but it is a starting point and and when you make a movie you go on that journey and you you embellish and 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 uh, uh, and, and you, you you turn it into into a different kind of reality you know for, uh, for, from a paper reality into into a, uh, a f some other physical two dimensional three dimensional reality. I'm not a particularly patriotic person, and, and I, you know, Mark Twain said patriotism is the, the last refuge of scoundrel and f scoundrels and fools. You know, um, but in a way, I felt I had a patriotic duty to tell the story of Robert the Bruce, in in a way that felt like it was honest uh, and, and that was that leaned into the history as much as possible. You know, Ninety percent of the scenes in the movie are are, are based on sort of historical fact, you know, or document or whatever, you know. Obviously, it's a it's a fictional dramatization of it, but but we but we're leaning on the history and as much as possible, trying to, to 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 imagine what it must have been like then. Um, so that that was that was the target of that of that film was to, was to try to um, understand the world, understand the character, understand the situation, and 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 to tell the story that way. It 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 doesn't necessarily make it easy because history doesn't. Doesn't give you the the narrative conveniences of, uh, of formula filmmaking, or, or you know. So, it, so th there 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 are times when you're you're struggling to try and make things things work. But that that was that was the game um, on that film was to try and try and you know lean into the history as much as possible. We shot almost all natural light. Uh, you know, even even the nighttime stuff. You know, you know Barry and, and and I, we we had candles and braziers, and there was a very very li very little you know augmentation of the lighting. So we're working on. On, on you know fast cameras you know that, that, that are able to, to operate in that thing we're trying to shoot as much as we can when the lights on the blink and and, and you know you know just you know in, in the gloaming as it were and, and and so that stuff was you know even 15 years ago was less available and and, that, and that, you know, so that's that's a part of it my relationship with Chris started halfway through the process of uh, of us you know generating that project so so you know, it, it, it was more a case that when when we finished Hell High Water and started f turning the attention back to the Robert Bruce film, like he, you know, here's a relationship with a man who can, you know, who who who, who can work with me and who's prepared to, to to be, you know, loose and 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 explore stuff, 
um, but also is a you know some matinee idol kind of movie star who can you can, can carry the, the big scale thing. It felt like it was an exciting opportunity to kind of do that double game, uh, and so from then on in you know then we were thinking about Chris and and. Um, I was never really worried, and I'm still not worried about about uh, about you know the, the fact that you know he's, he's not ethnically Scottish or whatever. That, I mean that that feels like a kind of a, a, a you know actors act. You know you don't you, and and I and I, I think that it's a slightly disingenuous game to be concerned about uh, about you know someone has to be of exactly the type that 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 that, that, that person is in order to in order to represent them you 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 you're 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 embodying people and Chris is really good at embracing everything scottish in the thing he surrounded himself with you know the the, the cast and crew and everyone who you know were, you know, were, were really kind of a, a part of his family for the for the time and, uh, and, and you know you know he was keen on making sure the accent was right and yeah, so that's what that's what you do. I mean, that's what you know. I think I think if he if he you know chosen to do a, a you know a, a film in the deep south of America or in Australia or whatever, the same thing would have happened. You know, I mean, he would have embraced it. And I think that's I think we need to be open enough to accept that actors shouldn't just do one role and directors shouldn't just do one film. You know? Two 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 things that, and it's not the first time I've said this, so I'd forgive me. But I mean, two things, you. Know, one is it you've got to be patient because these things take time, you know, and 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 there are, you know, there are going to be knocks, there are going to be hurdles, there's going to be times when 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 things are not are not happening, and uh, and and it's you know the opportunities look like they're drying up. Keep generating your projects, keep 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 being in charge of your own destiny as much as you can, and then hopefully other things will come together. I I, I was very fortunate that, that early on in my career I teamed up with a producer, um, so as a director it meant that that uh, you know uh, that that. Her, Gillian, and myself had the, had mutual interest to, to 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 journey up the ladder together, and so we helped we helped each other, and and so that was that was a really useful thing to to, to form form groups with your with your pals. It's like being a rock and roll band or whatever, you know, you know, form into bands, and then as opposed to kind of like struggle together and struggle individually. For a director, anyway, you have to be a combination of a fighter. And and somebody really sensitive. So you got to be you you, you got to do and and those two, so you got to have a thick skin and a thin skin at the same time, and you got to juggle the two. And uh, and and no matter how much you do do the fighting, you got to hang on to your sensitivity at the same time. Anyway, yeah. I mean that I mean it's a that's just my experience. But you, but but having to kind of like be tough at, 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 at the same time as being very very open and sensitive is is a is a hard thing to do, but it's important.